after squall. About every 10 nautical miles. We're close haul, hard on the breeze. Doing about six and a half knots. Been hitting the squall line about every 10 miles. Show that squall line. Heave to again, another squall. On top of that, it seems like we have a transmission issue, but if we're a sailboat, so I guess we'll sail home. Might take longer than we want. Hold on. And you, you see there's right nothing there. there in the front of the pro just a little bit of fishnet in front of it. It's not like the ropes hang wrapped around right. the rope. It goes around once there maybe. Yeah, so you need to cut all that on both sides. Well, cut all those pieces. You gotta cut it there, just to where it's around the prop and then it'll fall over. Okay, so as you know, uh, the prop is fouled with some fishing net, a piece of fishing net. Brave Don Green, uh, South African adventurer extraordinaire, has agreed to go down and take a look. Uh, we did look at it through the GoPro. It's a piece of fishing net and a larger piece of line. We think we can cut the fishing net pieces off and the line will release. We'll see. Don's going to take a close look at it. He does have a knife. We've got a safety line on him. The seas are pretty calm, but he's going to take an exploratory look now and then we'll see if we can cut it. Don Green has successfully cut away the fishing net, which was massive. We wrapped around the prop. This piece of crap just held us back. Huge, huge, huge kudos to best crew man ever. But now when a fishing net catches 
to catch dinner. No, now you gotta get out, Don, so we can leave. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on up. Now he's having fun chasing fish. Look at him. He's looking at all the fish. Yeah, no, no.